Hey friends, it's Joby here with a first hands-on video for the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront beta. A heads up before we begin. EA flew me to Stockholm, Sweden to take part in this early access event. They pay for my flights and my accommodation. I played on PC and recorded using my Elgato HD60. In this video, we're going to detail the Walker Assault Mode from the beta. Basically, I'll play through a round and talk you through what you can expect to find within. So for those of you expecting a conquest type mode, be forewarned, that's not Walker Assault. Walker Assault bears far more in common with Rush, the mode DICE introduced with Battlefield Bad Company. It's an interesting twist on the concept actually, flipping the dynamic on its head. While the Imperial Army is the team moving forwards, it's actually the Rebel Forces who are the aggressors. The secret is in the name. It's an assault on the two lumbering AT-AT walkers not an assault by them. Because the concept is flipped, progress through the map is tied not to successful completion of the rush objectives, but instead to time. The walkers move ever onwards, and about at about 5 minutes each round, they will pause while the rebels get a chance to do as much damage as they can. Progress is defined by the two circles at the top of the screen, the health of the walkers themselves. If the walkers are alive when the round ends, the Empire wins. If they both die, the rebels are victorious. It's pretty simple, but it's interesting nonetheless. In our time with the game, the rebels only won once, and not through lack of trying either. It just so happens that in the build we played, fortune heavily favoured the Empire. They get a buttload of vehicles from ATSTs to TIE Fighters to the ATATs themselves, and all of them are capable of dealing heavy damage. The at has access to three weapons, in fact, including an orbital strike reminiscent in effectiveness of the old Arty barrages from Battlefield 2. The Rebels, on the other hand, get a pair of X-Wings. It's a challenging first phase, and putting hurt on the AT-ATs can be difficult when you're being wiped out by a near-invincible chicken walker. The round we won as Rebels saw me spend nearly my entire round inside either an X-Wing or an A-Wing, which the Rebels get access to in the second phase, and I was focused on killing the ATSTs when they were alive. Hoth itself is an interesting map. It's quite open and the natural incline to the mountainside hangar makes it oddly dangerous. The Rebels have a slight disadvantage though as their beige overcoats contrast against the snow more than the white Stormtrooper armor. As you learn the map more, you can find cheeky attack avenues. Sneaking in behind the Rebels spawn point and jumping into one of their turrets to kill them as they spawn, well, it's a straight up dog act that I engaged in more than a few times. Hiding in the tunnels which lead to the base can get you an upper hand on the Empire during the start of phase two, Although you should probably be shooting the AT-80 -AT when it's moving to the next phase, and not hiding in the snow tunnels. These are all actions which are mitigated by experience. Once you know what to look for, you shouldn't get caught out, but they're fun nonetheless. One thing I found extremely compelling was the way the walkers create a natural momentum to the match. Being essentially invincible except during specific moments, the AT-ATs provide the Empire with a slow-moving mobile platform of destruction that the Rebels can't do much about. I never got to try out my theory, but I believe you're actually better off taking down one walker completely and then focusing on the other. The difference in firepower available to the Empire should be staggering. Survival Mission and Drop Zone are both part of the ba Star Wars Battlefront beta, but I'd put heavy money on Walker Assault getting the majority of the playtime. It's the only mode with heroes, it has vehicles you can pilot, and let's face it, Hoth is awesome. Make sure you watch my other videos in this series, an overall feature about the beta as well as videos detailing Drop Zone and Survival Mission. The open beta begins October 8th, and it's available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. You can read the script for this video over on OzGamers. Uh, you can see the script for the other videos there as well. I'll definitely be playing this on PC. And I guess I'll see you on the battlefront. Station has been active. 
detected by the rebels. You must be activated in order to stop the Y-Wing attack.
Interceptor support now. Broken through enemy lines and is primed to fire on the main power generator. 